Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buck Beak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with some more conquest. We are, I should say, I am on cur currently on Conquest 5 Area 35, I want to say, but we will find out shortly. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing alright, and I'm staying safe for the most part. And yeah, I don't think we should waste any more time. I think we should go ahead and jump into Conquest, shall we? So yeah, we're on Conquest 5, Area 35, the coffee shop. That's where we left off last week, I want to say. Hmm... Excuse me, sorry about that. Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm doing alright, other than, um, you know, along with my power that went out this past weekend, yeah, uh, I gotta get a new toilet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was so cold, there was ice in the toilet, and... Over time, that ice just cracked the inside of my toilet. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Having to replace my toilet. So, even if I wanted a PlayStation 5, I won't be getting it anytime soon. Not now. I think a toilet, in my opinion, I think a toilet is way more important than a... PS5 and just honestly for the PS5 right now there isn't anything on there yet I want to play anyway except for one game and that's destroy all humans 2 like I should rephrase that destroy all humans is only on PlayStation 5. That's the only game that I would want to play on the PlayStation 5 that's only for the PlayStation 5. Just about anything else that's on the PlayStation 5, I very likely already have it for the PS4. And honestly, I'm okay with that for now anyway. Which I'm sure I'm not the only one currently right now that has plumbing problems. But that's... <coughs> excuse me. As far as I know, that's the only thing that needs to happen at this very moment. People that live in, you know, the West Coast, they're so lucky. They don't have to deal with this cold stuff. I mean, over here on the East Coast, I really do feel for all the people that are currently um, having uh, plumbing problems due to the cold weather. And yeah, I was one of the unlucky people that lost their power. Um, I had to throw away, not only did my toilet break, 
Not only that, but that's like the major thing right now. For the longest time, I had this Harry Potter snow globe. Well, I had to throw that away because where it was so cold, it just, all of the water leaked out of it. So, yeah, I mean, it didn't break. It just, it leaked out of it. It was, it's still a mess. And I will definitely clean it when I can, for sure. It's kind of hard to do anything without, you know, water. But, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people over here on the East Coast are having that issue just the same. Whether if it's a cracked toilet, a uh, busted uh, pipe, whatever, you know? And the cracked toilet is the only thing that I'm aware of at the moment, and hopefully... Well, there might be one little issue, maybe, but... I know the toilet is going to definitely be the big problem as far as I know. And I also have this uh, Spider-Man snow globe. Luckily, that did not, uh, the, all of the water didn't leak out of it. But uh, Spider-Man was on the side of, the, of this building in the snow globe. Well, he's uh, he's on the ground now, on his, on top of his head, upside down. So I'm still gonna keep that snow globe, but Spider-Man can no longer hang on the side of the building like he was able to. But yeah, that Harry Potter snow globe, I had that for a really long time. And it kind of sucks that I had to throw it away. It wasn't nobody's fault. It was the cold weather that done that. But, I mean, <clears throat> I did have it for a really long time. And I was gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, losing my voice. I was gonna keep it for as long as I was able to for sure. And if that cold weather wouldn't have been so cold, I would probably still have Hmm. <laughs> Man. This one will probably end up having, having to do again. Wow. And I don't, I don't know if any of you just heard that, but I quietly burped. And if I, and if any of you heard that, I do apologize for that. And yeah, we're absolutely going to have to do this one again. Oh no, okay. Awesome. We're going to be moving on to Area 36, the strip mall. I will say this again, the people on the west coast, they're lucky they didn't have to deal with this weather this past weekend. They, boy, they were lucky, I will say that. Over here on the east coast, you might have gotten lucky depending on the area that you lived in, but 
my area, I just, I happen to be unlucky. Which, to, you know, the power was out until Sunday, but, you know, that was enough time to mess stuff up. Which sucks, but nobody's fault but the cold weather, you know? And uh, hopefully I'll get all my stuff straightened out pretty soon. But for the meantime, hey, I got to do what I got to do when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's not fun, but, you know, it's like I'm living in the 1800s or something for now as far as doing my business. When I was on, uh, when I was on RTS earlier, uh, with some of those ice keys, I think they're called frozen keys, I bought some of the advanced mythic token crates, and I ended up getting 100,000 out of one of the crates, and I do have over 300,000, uh, advanced mythic tokens in order to get all five copies of Winter Harrison. But, I think I'm going to hold off. Not because, you know, I think Winter Harrison is pretty good, but honestly, I don't know where I would put them. And, you know, the high, the likely chance of me getting any more Winter Kingdom Allegiance tunes aren't very high. So, that's my only reason that I'm going to be skipping on him. And who knows who the next tune might be. I mean, you know, the next tune will be, what, two days away? Maybe more than a day away from now? Something like that. So, yeah, I'm going to pass on him. Just because I wouldn't really have a place for him, I don't think. But if I don't see anyone that I want to pull for, I'm still going to hold on to them, for sure. Oh. <laughs> and, uh... When I was talking about Halloween ends in my last video, one thing I forgot to mention, spoiler free, of course, you know, what I'm about to say. Nothing that's really going to ruin the movie. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, I think Laurie Strode is absolutely the best character in that whole movie. I will say that. Everyone else is kind of like meh or not likable at all. Um, one character, um, I will say she's really dumb throughout most of the movie. And why they made that decision, I'm not sure why. But there's some decisions that you could question why did they do this? Why did they do that? But, yeah, I've sat on it a day, and I gotta say, I still really liked it. I much prefer it over Halloween Kills, for sure. And, you know, if you've seen the trailer, I mentioned that Halloween Ends gives us one thing that Halloween Kills didn't give us. And, honestly, without saying it... It's pretty easy to figure out what that is, especially if you saw the trailer. You know, it's definitely different, 
but you know what? I really appreciated the fact that they were trying to do different things to try to make it fresh. You know, that's pretty much all I'll say. Other than, like, two of the kills were, like, really nasty. Especially one toward the end of the movie. And then there's another one that is kind of... Yeah, there's about one or two kills that I can think of that are pretty nasty. Especially this one um, in a building. That's all I'll say. But the rest of the kills aren't, like too bad and that beginning is man I when I when I saw that I'm like oh man I can't believe they actually did something like that <laughs> it was like I'm thinking what a way to start that movie and uh, yeah one more thing I wanted to say that you know if for whatever reason you didn't like Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, I'll be honest, I don't think you're going to like this one. But even if you liked those other two, you still might not like this one. It's definitely different. And you know what? That's all I'll say. Just in case anyone is curious. But I don't think it's the worst Halloween movie. No, definitely not. That crown goes to Halloween Resurrection, in my opinion. I think ends, in my opinion, is hmm, somewhere in the middle. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to talk about without giving things away accidentally. So, I'll go ahead and stop talking about it right now. And, yeah, I really still enjoyed it. And also, you know, this movie definitely gives Lori a better send-off than Resurrection did definitely for sure and yeah yep that's all I got to say about it Recent, recently, I picked up a Monopoly for PS4. You know, it was 20 bucks. Not, uh, actually, that's a pretty good price. I thought it would have been more, but definitely $20 is a good price. The, honestly, they could have sold it for less than that. It's got two things, Monopoly Plus and Monopoly Madness. Now, Monopoly Plus is pretty much just like normal Monopoly, your standard Monopoly. You can play on the classic board, or there's a living board, and pretty much, you know, whatever token or, you know, whatever you want to choose to be, you know, we'll move around, we'll have animations going from space to space. And the hat does this thing where when it lands on the number of whatever the dice you roll, whatever, like say if you roll an 8 or something like that, right? When you land on 8, the hat actually does a little flip on the on the 8th spot, which is uh, pretty cool. I, I, I like that. And then there's a cat. You know, the cat does its walking animation. You know, that's pretty much the living board, and it looks like an actual city around the board. And honestly, if you do play the uh, Monopoly Plus, that's the one I recommend using, just because it looks so cool aesthetically. And Monopoly Madness, that's honestly an interesting one. And what that is, it's just, it's like, you know... 
it has the same basic principles of Monopoly, but the games only last like 10 minutes. And you can go around buying property, um, obviously. And you can go around, you know, there will be these uh, community chests. And if you collect them, they will give you different power-ups, like such as, like, you can take... A, you can take a business from your opponent or you can send in a UFO to take one of your opponent's businesses or you know you can send a flock of birds to take money and it's just like there's a lot going on and at first when I first tried it I didn't really like it all that much but I tried it again and I'm like you know what this is actually pretty cool it has the same principles of um, Monopoly, but it is a lot different, and it's a lot quicker, too. And then there's a uh, power-up where you can immediately send your opponent to jail just for a short time. There's another power-up where you can throw a cup of coffee at them, and they'll just go a-slipping and sliding. It's actually kind of insane, and it's kind of fun, too. It's a different take on Monopoly for sure. Alright, we're going to be moving on to Area 37, Central Square Part 4. And let's see, the avatars you can be is a racer, a dog, a cat, a pilot, a biker. Um, you can even unlock certain avatars. It's pretty fun. At, like I said, at first, I didn't really care for the Monopoly Madness, but I gave it another shot. And I'm like, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. This is very fun. And you can honestly have an even shorter matchup of 5 minutes, or you can do 15 minutes. I honestly just recommend the 10 minutes. But, you know, if you want to have a shorter match, sure. If you want to have a longer match, that option is there. But the, you know, the recommended is 10 minutes, and it's a lot of fun, honestly. And, um, yeah, what is another power-up? You can upgrade your buildings for free on a certain... No, you can upgrade one of your buildings for free on a certain uh, power-up. There's different power-ups. I like the one where you can throw the hot cup of coffee at your opponent and he just goes to, he goes to slipping and sliding. I think that one's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, you know, you have to, they give you like 15 million dollars to start out with and, you know, like I said, the Monopoly Madness, it's a quick game. So you could get a couple of games of Monopoly Madness in, even if you want to short it to five minutes. You know, obviously, regular Monopoly is going to be a lot longer than that. And I just got it to, you know, I'm going to play it every once in a while, because I really do like Monopoly. I think Monopoly, Monopoly is my... Probably my number one favorite game board of all time. And that's going to do it for this one. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.